What's up guys, it's Nightmare, and today I'll be taking a look at the Shadow Strategic Bandolier. This is a piece of gear that I never thought I would ever have in my kit bag. Before we get into that, I want you to slam that like button if you want to see more gear reviews. I haven't done a gear review in I don't even know how long now, so make sure you slam that like button and let me know down in the comments below if this is something that you want to see more of on this channel. Sometime last year, I noticed that Alabaster Slim was rocking this awesome bandolier. I searched the internet high and low to find not just a bandolier, but a quality bandolier. So after my tiresome search, I finally found what I was looking for from Defcon Paintball Gear. And guys, I gotta tell you, I'm really, really impressed with this thing. Putting this thing on is super easy. I mean, it's literally a loop. So I mean, you really have no real way to really screw this up. So just kind of slip your arm through. Boom, it is on your chest. From this position, all you gotta do is reach behind, grab the cord that kind of keeps it tight to your body, loop it on, and that's it. This thing is super snug and secure. It is not going to go anywhere. It is fantastic. After playing around with this thing for at least half a day, this is the configuration I came up with that I like. Right off the bat, you have a ton of molly space here on the front. You could easily fit three mags here comfortably. Four if you really try. I did try that, it was possible, but I just didn't like the feel of it. I think three would be optimal, and maybe if you used a drop leg or something else to get some extra mags, depending on what your loadout actually is. One of my favorite things about this bandolier is the large pouch right here. So not only is this where you store all your mags, you actually have a rather large pocket here for storage. Personally, I take a lot of extras onto the paintball field with me, from barrel swabs to microfibers, batteries, and more. But all that aside, let's put some pouches on this and see what kind of loadouts we can actually create with this bandolier. Let's go. All right, so our very first loadout consists of three magazines in three mag pouches. If this is a loadout that would interest you on a bandolier, you're gonna want some sort of magazine with a built-in retention system. So mine here is the M4 pouches with the Kydex insert. So my mags actually take a little bit of force to come out and a little bit of force to go back in. These are great for this video review, but if I was actually gonna rock this loadout, I would make sure I had some sort of taco pouches or retention mag pouches that are designed to actually hold the mag pouches and not these modified ones. So this leaves my shoulder empty. I can actually get down sight. And if, when I go to reload, I just pull out, insert, and off we go. So that is awesome. I like this. It's staying in place. It hasn't moved much. So highly recommended. On to the next loadout. All right, so our next loadout consists of a TIPX with some 12 round true feed mags. Here we got a bunch of Faz mags that are holding in the mags here. So pretty simple. Boom, in you go. You know, and you can do this all day. You could just keep slamming them in all day, baby, all day. I can do this all day. Ooh, that one kind of hit pretty hard. Um, but if you run out of mags, you also have all this space in here, right? So you can stick some mags in here if you wanted to. Ooh, whoa. All right, so like I said, I carry a lot of stuff on the field. I go from barrel maids to microfibers. Hey, look, the barrel plug. It's always very important to have barrel plugs. But look, check this out. So if you are rocking the pistol loadout, you have a place for your CO2s built right in to the bandoliers. They're all contained in here inside the inner molly. And if you happen to need the extra space, well, you can get it. All, there, all you have to do is pull in this Velcro here and this pouch expands, just like magic. Look at that, look at that. Call me Nightmare the Magician, because baby, I just made a whole bunch of space appear. So now you have all this space in here, like, you know what? Call it a conceal and carry, but <laughs> if you even need a place to hide your pistol during the game, you know, say if you don't have a holster or whatever, look, you can hold a whole tip X in there. That is absolutely hilarious. So this bandolier will work for you pistol players. On to our very last loadout. All right, this next loadout is probably the most unconventional loadout you're ever gonna see on my channel. So let's take a look at this. 
How about putting some pods on your bandolier? How cool is that? So say that you actually use a hopper. This could be a viable solution to your needs. I mean, one quick pull, you have access to your pods. When you're done, slam it back in, boom. So if you can get your hands on one of these Molly pod holders, this could go on the bandolier. This is still really, really comfortable. So whether you're one of those box mag players, or just your average hopperator, this is an option for you. So you don't have to feel limited by what type of paintball marker you're using. This bandolier will give you all the space that you need. I'm on a remote line here. The tank is on my back. It still feels really, really comfortable. This is definitely a loadout that I could get behind. The only thing I didn't like was having to figure it out all on my own. No instructions, no manuals, no uh, where to put the straps. It is all up to your imagination whether you want to wear it on the left shoulder or the right shoulder. It is completely ambidextrous in that sense. An amazing product by Shadow Strategic. Highly recommended guys. So if you are interested in purchasing one of your own, I'm going to leave a link down in the description as well as a couple of links to some mag pouches that would go along great with this. If you want to see more reviews on this channel, like I said, smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Guys, I will thank you very much for watching. I will catch you next Friday, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But until then, Nightmare out.